safer6.co.uk sponsors of the haze hour and we are live on thursday night the 3rd of october 2013 it's the year of our lord apparently I, yes i got slightly distracted there with when i saw stanley mechanic coming on the telly well, i thought you had some sort of religious uh me conversion no 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 you no. want to call it no 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 that's that's <coughs> never going to happen is it not? no 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 just never going to happen yes i got I, d I did i got i got slightly distracted because i don't know whether everybody knows but tonight live from the united states of america uh stanton glantz and uh, jean-francois etter uh, pro talbot and somebody else whose name i can't remember are actually having a panel discussion on e-cigs which starts now it's actually started now and they're talking now, um, I don't know whether they're saying anything yet. We'll go and have a listen and see, shall we? An hour ago, we had over 1,300 people registered for this. Even though we know that not all of them will join us, it's somewhat unprecedented, even in UCSF's history. Um, we've had to buy extra bandwidth and the like. Let me just say a couple of things before I get started. Those of you that well, there you are, you see. Oh, there you go, boink. Um, they're getting a start, and that's just a preamble. And what we're going to do during the course of the evening, as well as doing what we usually do, we'll dive in and out and see what gets said. I'm particularly interested to hear what Stanton Glantz has got to say and what uh, Jean-Francois Ette has got to say. I think they are the two poles of the argument. Right. Yeah. It should all be good. So that's live, is it? That's, that's, that's live as it happens. It's, this is kind of... Impressive technology. Isn't it just? Yes, it is. If the fact that yeah. I'm able to get it in and play it out and they're using it, it's all weird stuff. But this this is what we do on the Hairs Hour. We're, it, yes. We come to the bleeding edge, don't we? Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. Yes. Chris will quite often say a cat because she's sitting in, in the other machine over there, as she does every Thursday night. And she usually says it's bleeding edge. No, not bleeding edge. Bleeding awful, that's what she says it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a minute, just a minute. Interests, um, competing so interests. Now they've gone. Oh. Never mind. Um, yes, TRDP, that lot have no competing interests at all. They're completely whatever. Um, and, oh, look, I'll, we'll play the titles and okay. then we'll get into it. It's going to be one of those nights tonight. We'll be, uh, we'll be with you very, very shortly. I'm clearing it loud for Keith. This is, shall we do it that way? The Here's, the here's Hour. hour. And we are back live, and I keep forgetting how to use this bleeding edge technology. So that's the toe curling beginning over. Yes, for I know. one more week. You like that, don't you? Oh, ecstatic about it. That's what I like to hear. That's always good. That's always good. Um, what you been doing since last week? I know you've got stories to tell. Well, I decided uh, after I spoke to you on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, to go to the galleries in Washington and of course came across the new VIP kiosk. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I went up and the guy recognised me. Oh, got, you star. Yeah, he'd obviously watched the show last Thursday. Uh -huh. um, and I told him I wanted some RY4. Um, and he quickly told me you got the price wrong. So there was no misunderstanding. It's ten pound fifty, is it? Either ten fifty or ten ninety nine. I can't remember. But less than eleven quid. Yes. So I wasn't that far off. You weren't. No. no. It was all from memory. It. Uh, 
So I, I, I had a I had a chat with him. He was telling us about his shop in the uh, the Metro Centre. Yes. Um, and when we went into the galleries, the, the, there was certainly a sort of crowd round him. So um, I got the impression that he's doing quite well there. Mm. And then, during the week, I was talking to my brother-in-law, who sent an email to say that his daughter, he was trying to persuade his daughter to go on to e-cigarettes, and a shop had opened in Gisborough, which I thought was a rather uh, strange place to open it. Gisborough, of all places. Gisborough, yeah, I a little, mean, little market town. Yeah, well, if, if there's anybody in Gisborough watching, please don't take this the wrong way. Oh, very nice but place. It's a gorgeous place, but it is a one-horse town, isn't it? Yes. It's not big and sprawling or any, you know, it's not, not like um, Eston or South Bank or Grangetown even. No, it's, no, it's, I mean, it's, it's not part of a, a conurbation, is it? Pardon? Well, it's, part it's, of a, what? it's a sort of... <laughs> sorry. Conurbation? Uh, yes. Are we allowed to use language like that on a show like this? Well, it's, it's a common word, isn't it? Apparently. So, um, it's, it's a market town in... In, in the North, Teesside yeah, area. Yeah, Teesside area. Yeah, yeah. yes. So, uh, carry on. Well, uh, I haven't had a reply from him, so I don't know whether he's been there yet. Um, but, I mean, I suggested that he get himself on the, the internet and uh, get some information from there. Indeed. I, I just want to switch mm. to camera six. The, 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 uh, the smart ones amongst you will have noticed that... Um, what's coming up on the screen behind you there. And what they're saying is that the e-cigs could surpass the consumption yes, of, of conventional cigs within the next decade, I mean, by 2023. Next That's from Herzog. That that That's interesting stuff. Is interesting. Isn't it though? Just keep, just, um, you know, we're just keeping an eye on, on what's going on. When Stanley Mechanic, when um, Professor Glantz comes on, we'll, uh, we'll bring him up and hear what he's got to say. It's quite an interesting interface, that, with all these little slides and everything everywhere. I bet people have got numerous windows open watching along at the same time. I'm sure somebody will shout out if we miss Stanton Glantz coming on or Jean-Francois Etter. That's really an interesting uh, sort of view, that, isn't it? It is, pretty much. Amongst middle and high school students... What? Unfortunately, the CDC um, found out uh, earlier this year that actually it's among middle and high mm. school students mm. that that use had doubled um, from 2011 to 2012. Anyway, right, Thanks. yes. Back, back on with the plot, back on with the plot. So, what, what uh, do, you, do you think this daughter, the, this young lady, would be receptive to a trip down and would go down and take a few bits and bobs and show her? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, it's difficult to say. Um, she, she's certainly a shy type of person who uh, I, I, I wouldn't see wanting to to make a fuss. I mean, she she died. She's the sort of girl, from what I know of her, that would either uh, like them or not like them. And I think it's a question of him trying to persuade her to try them and get out of the 20 a day habit. Well, we'll put a food parcel together and send it down, uh, shall we? Yeah, actually she doesn't live in Gisborough. Where um, she live? She lives in, well, in the Sunderland area. Oh, well, that's even easier, isn't it? But he, he, he obviously comes up to see her on a regular basis. Oh, well, if he comes, comes up on and a, sees us. If he comes up on a Thursday, bring her over. I can't see that somehow or other. Ah, no mind. I can't see oh. that. Would have been worth but a try. But he's the one that's trying I see. to get her off the smoking habit. I think the easy, quite honestly, I think ob often the easiest thing to do is, to, is for him to arrange for you to visit over there when he is there, to pick him up or take something yes. because he's not. And, and if yes. you walk in with an EC gone, you'll get asked the three questions. Yes. The hell's that? How does it work? Where can I get one? And there's usually a give us a go in there somewhere. That might be the best. Way, I think yes. that might be a good way to do it. Yes. yes. It might be a good way to do it. I don't think you should take, though, the subject of our first little foray into looking at things tonight 
with you to do that. <laughs> that might be a mistake, and I shall go to close you up. You can't and press the little button and people will see why it might be a mistake because I have in my hand one of the very first I taste VTRs in my hand. I'll move its case out of the way and we'll have a little bit better look at it. Now this is a cracking piece of kit. Um, it looks really really funky doesn't it? It's uh, just the look of it screams power yes now I, sh I should say before we start i'm not a big box mod lover anybody that knows me will know i'm not the biggest box mod fan on the face of the planet and before we go any further in the, in the how does it work and stuff like that two observations one is as you can plainly see it's a fingerprint magnet is the first thing and the second thing and i don't know whether this will show up but the plated finish on it is not the best I've ever seen. I'm going to try and get in close. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it all that well, but there's little um, little freckles in the finish. It's possibly more noticeable on the back side, is it? No, it's, it's not easy to see, and I can't get it to show on camera, but it's not, it's not the best plated finish I've ever come across. I've got to be honest about that. But in terms of um, how devices work and what they can do, this is a little bit clever in many ways. Guided two are coming up. First off, I'm going to take out the iClear 30S, which is the, uh, the atomizer that comes with it. I'm going to look at that separately in a little while. Um, but where I've plugged that in, where I've had that in, you can see that this base here actually turns. And you might think, well, that's shoddy, but there is actually a good use for that. Something that you might not particularly enjoy, Keith, but it's damned useful for all sorts of reasons. And that comes to what else is in the box. Mm. The fire button is this little beastie on the side. Um, and as per usual, when you press the button, it lights up. Um, it's the usual three click on and three click off. It's now off and then three clicks for on and you get a little disco lights running and it says on on the display so far pretty much what you would expect from Inokin but then we get to the little top button here and when you press that it will show you in this case that there is no atomizer attached but the power is set to 10 if you press it again and hold it down a little bit longer and release then you're in a situation where you can change the power by turning this little knob on the top to anywhere you want in either direction and i was running it around about nine um, you can also should you so desire switch it into voltage mode and then again the little dial on the top does the biz and allows you to <coughs> dial in the voltage that you require which is all quite interesting stuff. I'm going to set it back to power because that's where I like to be. And it is RMS power, is this, um, which again is all good. Battery, unlike most Inokin devices that are of this form factor, this one takes an 8650. And it's suggested that you use an unprotected IMR or something like a Panasonic. And again, very, very easy slot the battery in click it shut and everything just lights up and lets you know what's going on it switches on as the battery goes in um, comes with this iClear 30S um, we'll zoom in on it a little bit so you can see a little better it's pretty much what you would think would be standard iClear construction he said getting it in completely the wrong place except that all of the um, wicks are down inside that colander of a central column and you fill it by removing the mouthpiece which by the way will take a standard mouthpiece in there and then take the top off like so 
and fill it in the normal way for a tank of this type, which is pretty damn good. And I've just become a little bit distracted, as you do, because there's a rather pretty young lady just come on in what's happening in, uh, in America. We'll have a quick look. Don't know what they're saying. there's no long-term studies, but... There you go. What I've forgotten her name as well. Jenny, somebody Thirdly, other. we want to better understand the literature... Apparently, they're not massively happy about pretty young ladies advertising e-cigs. Uh -huh. yeah, apparently, it makes them too cool. The aunties, that is. The aunties don't like it. Jenny McCarthy, that's her name. Yes, yeah, so that, 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 uh, that will actually take a standard drip tip, should you so require. But it is the usual kind of ball affair which is pretty good um, so let's screw that back into the base and if you know if it was just that that would be kind of good enough uh, in many ways but there's something else comes in the box um, which I find quite useful because being as I am fond of the old uh, Genesis atomizer you also get this which is they call it a cone and what it allows you to do is to bring the connector up to the top just by screwing it in oh. right goes in like that and then as you can you can plainly see that wheels going round and it'll go as round as many times as you like and what that means for anybody that's got a genesis tank that needs the genesis tip you can put your tank on and then rotate the wheel until the air hole and the wick is where you need it for the way you want to use it and it maintains perfect contact which is all pretty damn clever i think um and it means you can use just about anything you like with this. The operation of the digital display is much simpler than some we've seen, isn't it? Yes. I mean, I even understood it. Hmm. Turny wheel. Yeah. Yeah. And changing the uh, changing the wattage on it is quite simple. You just press the button and then turn it up and I happen to know that I've got this set the uh, the Jenny tank on the top here the Fogatti this likes to run at 11 watts that's just me being greedy what about weight it looks quite quite heavy well let, let me let me take the Jenny and the extension cone off and I'll put the iClear 30 on and uh, oh you've got to pop it on your shirt <laughs> I mean how fortunate I mean you mentioned and you can't see from this distance some slight flaws in the casing yeah it's it's pockmarked I, I mean you know looking from here and what I'm about a, a yard away from it I mean it, it looks a, a luxury piece of kit it it feels it uh, it feels as though it's built like a brick outhouse frankly um, and having put this on I need to turn it back down because it's this is running really really nicely at 9 watts and but there you go That's, uh, it's just very uh, slight but the slight pop marking in it yeah you can feel it yeah you can just say feel it but I couldn't you can't see it on camera and see what well. you mean about uh, Oh, it's a fingerprint magnet. It is. Yes, if you if if you uh, if you know somebody that's got an iPhone 5s and one of these, you're going to get into the iPhone 5s dead quick. Give it a blast. See what you think. I'll go to Keith Cam for this, I think. Looks like a tube mod the way you're holding it there. certainly produces oh it does that all right what have you got in it oh i6 right oh stanton glance is going to he's introducing stanton glance now i'll just switch to camera six so people can see talk about 
He's, he's the discussant. I don't know what that means. But uh, Dr. Glantz conducts research on a wide range of topics uh, ranging from the health effects of secondhand smoke with particular emphasis uh, on the cardiovascular system are, to the efficacy of different tobacco control cigarettes. policies. Um, that means he's a prohibitionist, is what it means. Anyway, back on with the plot. What do you, what do you make of that then, Keith? Nice. Nice. Comfortable it's to hold. Weighty, it's weighty, isn't it? It's certainly weighty, yes. I, mean, I reckon that um, weighs probably eight or nine ounces. I would have said so. At yes. least. Yes. At least. But uh, nice feel to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really quite surprised that uh, the button on the side being a lot like a trigger. Yeah. It, it's, it's a bit like holding a um, 357 Magnum, you know. And Dave? Uh, yeah? Uh, they're asking in chat a couple of questions about it. Sure. Firstly, what's the maximum wattage? And secondly, do you know the retail price? Okay, um, let's let's have a blast at that. I'll take it off you if I'm here, Keith. Well, well the case itself, sir. <laughs> um, maximum wattage is 15. Let's go to close you up, you can, and, and show that. Um, press a little bit in, let it go to which wattage bit, and up we go. And I know what's going to happen here. They're going to say, give it a blast at 15. And so, ever dutiful, ever mindful, I'm going to give it a blast at 15. And this is a, a 2 ohm, as you saw, <coughs> uh, 2 or 2.1 ohm, um, I clear 30S, 15 watts. I must be mad. I think you can safely say that works. <coughs> it's got some power to it. So 15 watts. Now I, I got this on pre-order. I think I paid. I think I paid about 89 pounds for it. I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, so it's going to be around that level. It's going to be 80, 90 pounds. This one again, I'll show you on uh, on close up. You can is badged up for. I've got to get the light right. UK eSig store. I don't know whether you can whether you can see that. Is that coming through all right, Chris? UK eSig store. It's very difficult. With yes, it is. Yeah. See it quite clearly. Because this is it's 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 really 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 shiny. Um, it is. It's really really. I mean, it's a gunmetal finish. Um, it's just really really shiny, but it it feels as though it's built out of unobtainium really it's, it's so heavy um it, it's if you're a small and delicate kind you know if you've got tiny little wee hands um and you're not very strong it's it might not be for you um if you're into box modes well the proof of the pudding's going to be in how long it lasts and uh, if tom Pruin gets hold of one we'll find out very quickly i know he was interested I, i've got corrosive sweat and I'm going to see how long it takes my sweat to break through this plating and flake it off I suspect it will oh hang on we've got a nice bit on here let's go to it and see and if you were to go with electronic three, cigarette three, fluid main now, ingredients humectants it says flavorings okay, so and tobacco and, and propylene glycol and this is what they're saying about it forms ex and explosive and gas mixtures Generally say floral intake, maybe different when heated and inhaled. Do you ever get the feeling that uh, these people are really trying to put the willies up, folks? Obvious. It looks that way, doesn't it? Not good. Not good. Anyway, back to the plot while she's wibbling on about that. Um, <coughs> were there any more questions, Chris? No, obviously not. Um, not about covers, it, Dave. Oh, lovely. Thanks very much, Chris. Um, it's, I've got we've got all the computers working out all Skype calls and bringing this thing in from the states, so I'm, I can't actually see chat tonight for the first time in a donkey's age. Um, let's go to the adverts, and when we come back. We'll talk a little more, and when Stanton Glance comes on, assuming he's not going to take all night, we'll have a bit listen to what he's got to say. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Please do not go anywhere.
sofa6.co.uk. Sponsors of The Haze Hour. There we go. Now, I've, I've, while we were away on adverts, there was a slide came up, um, which I think we can go back to. I'll select it. It's that one. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. And I want to bring it up on screen. And there's a bit I'd like you to look at um, that goes down to large amounts of nicotine are lethal. And it says 60 milligrams adult and 6 milligrams children. Now, I was down in London at a meeting um, on Tuesday where this was brought up and one of the speakers had decided to try and find out where the hell this information came from. And apparently it goes back to an experiment that was done in rats and they gave rats nicotine orally, probably mixed with something else so that they would eat it and found out what the lethal dose for a rat was. What they didn't realise at the time, and what we do realise now, is that rats apparently cannot vomit. And when we were crossing Brussels, and uh, Jacques Le Uzek was making his presentation, he and Dr. Farsalinos both agreed that that figure, that 60 milligram, is actually incorrect because Humans vomit. Stomach acid would neutralise the nicotine pretty much like that. And on Tuesday we were told of a case where an adult had ingested, swallowed, 1,500 milligrams, 1,500 milligrams of nicotine, vomited his life out, you know, threw up all over the place, but was absolutely fine. Splitting headache, <laughs> and and uh, quite energetic for quite a while, but was fine. 1,500 milligrams of nicotine. Um, so that 60 milligrams being the lethal dose for an adult is actually incorrect. I thought I wanted, I just wanted to put that out there so that people know that and you don't need to be too worried. However, the other side of that is that nicotine through the skin, dermal absorption, is very fast and you can't get it out of your system, you can't vomit. So while drinking 1500 milligrams might have been all right, bathing in 1500 milligrams or covering your body with 1500 milligrams would very, very, very likely prove fatal. I just wanted to make sure people knew that. And actually, while I've, while I've got this like this, uh, I should also point out 
with reference to last night. All of the amendments uh, on the Tobacco Products Directive are now published and the recommendation from Clive, from Jerry and from everybody involved uh, on this side of the fence, on the proper side of the fence is amendment number 170. 170 is the one that we should be asking our MAPs to support. That is the one that will protect ASIGs and yes we know that it's not ideal, it's not the best possible outcome as far as we're concerned but as we said last night it is disruptive from the point of view of it protects e-cigs and gives us the foot in the door we can we can work from there all of us can work from there and we can concentrate on our mps locally uh, so that we can get council to change things but there you go um that's about where we're at and stanton glance still has not taken the stage so that's 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 all good did you get any of that, Keith? Did it make sense what I said? Yes, yes. Uh, I was interested in the uh, the rats business and the uh, yeah. I never, I never realised that. that rats didn't. Uh, I mean, wouldn't you think that researchers and experts would check these things out before they were they were, they were published in such dramatic fashion? You would have thought so, yes, but I mean. I suppose with a lot of this, one of them did and went back and trolled through to find out where the 60 milligrams had come from um, and was was basically unable to find any human studies that would show that the uh, the LD50 was 60 milligrams, which mm. is, is quite interesting. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm really rather pleased that I'm not listening to what this lady's saying on there because I'm seeing the slides and and good lord formaldehyde and acetaldehyde could form from an oxidation of propylene glycol i think that uh, she's an anti somehow i have the feeling that uh, professor etta is going to be outnumbered on this panel four to one but never mind never mind let's uh, let's blast on i wanted i was going to ask you how you were getting on with the uh, the iClear 30 and the ry4 mixture excellent Good vapour production, good capacity in the tank, no problem filling it. Um, fine, fine. That's and excellent. I, and I like the uh, uh, the VIP RY4. You do, do you? Well, it certainly suits my palate. Well, there you go. There you go. You can't uh, you can't say better than that. And and again, you know, as we've said so many times. When reviewing juices on various different parts of vapotrails.tv, um, taste is subjective. Um, well, it is. It's a you know personal thing at yeah. the end of the day, isn't it? Do you like Marmite? Uh, not particularly. No. no. Do you like menthol? Definitely not. No, I don't like Marmite and I don't like menthol. You know my experience with menthol recently. I know what my yeah. experience with menthol recently was, but we're not going to go it takes there. Takes us back to the uh, to the Milton, doesn't it? Yes, we probably don't want to go there either. No, I don't think no. so. No, because there have been requests for me to go and buy a mankini for you to wear on the show. <laughs> <coughs> I shall say no more than that. Shall we move on? Yes. Let's 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 just do that. Um, just, just before we, we, we move away from the uh, iTaste VTR, I'm going to be using this quite a lot. I'm going to take it with me tomorrow uh, to the New Crown in, uh, in South Shields because uh, I'm going to do some telly over there, apparently. There's an interview uh, for our local news slot. Uh, a lot of the BBC regions are doing this now. So apparently Chris and uh, Keith, myself, Sav uh, and Daz, I think are going to be over there um, just for a, a quick 20 minutes um, to do some, some telly. So that's that's coming up. I'm going to take this with me because that looks so much like a cigarette, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, you know? yeah, definitely. Just, yeah. just to make the point. Um, also wanted to, to, to touch um, on a cartomizer that uh, Daz at Surface has been waxing lyrical about for the last few days and he sent a couple up and this is the Aspire you've got one haven't you Chris she's not there she's gone mm -hmm. yes the, the no I am here it's oh. just I had to make me to get it off 
Yes, I have one. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, but, uh, sorry, I've, I've just had a heart attack. <laughs> did I scare the life You did, yes. You scared, <laughs> scared yeah. the threatening bit out of us. It was, it was like all I quiet. That more often. Oh, God almighty. Oh, no, I've had enough of threatening bit during the course of the day. Thank you very much. I'm not going to go into it, but I've just had enough of that. Um, I don't, do you fancy cracking yours out and filling it up while we're on air, Chris? Yeah, can do. Might as well. I'll show, I'll show the uh, assembled throng around it, and uh, you can hear the sound of, of papers being unrustled and unrattled and, and, and what have you. Um, we'll go with the, uh, the clear one first, because it's easier to see. And here it is. We'll move the, the VTR out of the way and get in a little bit closer on this. This uh, having the ability to zoom in and zoom out is scary. Okay, now this probably looks nothing like anything you've ever seen before, and it didn't to me either. And I'm going to take it to bits in a minute, not this one, uh, a black one, to show you what's on the inside. But you cannot see any wicks. What you will see is a couple of little holes. You can just see that coming around the front there now. It's bottom coil, but the, the, the tube stops here. The, air, the, the, the breathing tube, if you want to call it that. The other thing to note while I've got it like this is that it takes a standard drip tip. And having taken that top off, everybody's going to say, well, how the hell do you fill it? Mm. Mm, thought so. Mm. So I shall, I shall do some paper rustling. Rustle, rustle, rustle. Tear. And get this dark one out. And I'll take the dark one two bits so that I can show you more clearly what is going on. I'll try and do it on camera. I'm, it's very, very close up. And that there is the atomizer. And you can just say, see, and I don't think I'd, I'll try and zoom in a bit further. This is going to be really, really, really touch and go. I'll probably zoom. There you go. You can see the coil inside there. And if I zoom out a little further, you will see, as I turn it, that the wick is white behind that little hole. And it has a serial number. God, I haven't got much room to manoeuvre here. There's the other side. And you will also see that it's a 1.8 ohm. And they're suggesting somewhere between 3 and 5 volts. Now these come separately. They unscrew. And we've kind of seen this form factor before. But with exposed wicks. Um, that screws in, you screw. You need to screw it in well tight, as tight as you can. If you've got slippy fingers, you may need to use a cloth to grip it, although the knurling on that ring is uh, nicely cut and makes it fairly easy to grip. Um, serialised so that you can tell where it's come from. I don't know whether you'll be able to say that particularly well. Um, and I shall zoom out a little further, otherwise I'm going to be absolutely manic here. And then you fill, and you can't see that at all well, but you fill up to the top of that tube that's in there, and then screw the top back on. That's probably more easily seen if I just take the lid off this one here, which I've screwed down well tight. <coughs> and you can see that <coughs> the juice goes down just really to the top of the, uh, the tube, and then that's it, you're ready to go. The tube makes contact with that O-ring, the, the silicon ring at the top, and it gives, so you're not going to be wrecking the coil. Um, and, and it threads in, as you'll be able to see, quite nicely indeed, back to not close you up you can. I've got it clagged on a VAMO, or it's what I've had it on during the course of today. I will say, when first you fill it, you need to give it two or three minutes, as, as much as five actually, so that the, the juice can get through. If you're in a desperate rush, I drop, that's all it needs, I drop, drop through that little hole in the centre of the coil assembly, will give it a head start and give it a little bit of a, a wonder. But when you see the bubbles stop coming up from those two little holes either side, then you're good to go. It will take 
around about 1.8 mils of juice. I cannot get any more than that in. Even though the uh, the 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 men the men the, the, the measuring thing on the side says more, you can only really get 1.8 in when you take it to the top of the tube. And I've got this set at 6.5 watts. I will I'll go to close you up you come and prove that. Press the little button. Six watts. 6.5 watts it's there to see okay just so everybody knows and then we'll see how it performs at 6.5 watts don't get yourself too nicked up on that because this this blitzes it out Bloody hell, yes. how are you doing with yours chris i've filled it um it's not performing wonderfully at the moment i'm listening to you with it giving it a few minutes so. yeah it, it, it'll need a few minutes to uh to work on i think oh god prue's on well mm. kate's enjoying that we'll just, just look what they're doing now do electronic cigarettes present health benefits or risks um, health effects. Um, and do e -cigarette products produce what? She's flipping backwards and forwards between slides here. Uh, do e c reduce the risk of cancer and other adverse effects linked to conventional cigarettes? Yes. Do any electronic so health effects? What? what we Woman. Often do is, uh, Animal studies, human studies. Oh, God. Here we go. I think we know what she's going to say. How are you getting on with that, Keith? It certainly produces. Doesn't it? It's a... <clears throat> A bit, it, it's it's coming through a bit strong for me. That's at six and a half watts. <coughs> I'm well, at four be. seven. Um, you what, Chris? I'm at four seven on right. my up to five now and see what it's like. Is that volts or watts? That is watts. Uh, volts. You know, I kind of tell the difference. Five might be a bit much if it's just being filled. Mm. I'm picturing that on a, a slim device. I can take a hint. Stick it on yours then. Well, mine. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, no, it, it's not. <clears throat> I, I, mean, I mean, that's obviously slimmer. But I was thinking of something even slimmer. Really? Than that, huh? No, it's built to go on to an ego style body. Yes, right. Give it a try, see how it works out for you. While uh, while Keith's doing that, and while Katz is sorting through, um, I think it's probably a good idea to take a quick blast of adverts and uh, we'll see whether. No, 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 no. So, no, no. Me. Come on, buddy lad. Hold oh, the device. Sorry. There you go. You make it so simple. He's trying to take me Vamo to bits. See, a Vamo would be no good to you, Keith. Too heavy for the shirt pocket. We'll take, <laughs> take the second set of adverts and we'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Save the Six. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we're live. Back in the studio. Um, yes. Hey, Dick, are you? Hey. Yeah, it was just just just, just a tad hazy in here. Just a tad hazy in here. We've got strategy for cytotoxicity screen going on. I mean, this is all. It's pretty heavy stuff. But this this is Prue. She's uh, yeah, she's a nurse, you know. She's not a doctor either. I'm gonna catch. I'll be watching all of this on catch up a little bit later on. Um, we have a difference of opinion. Chris is not that keen, are you, Chris? What I'm not keen on, and it happens with so many new devices, you've got to get through that test. Mm. And it's a new device thing. Mm -hmm. And it bugs me to hell. Oh, she got it on. And there, it's not that I'm saying that there's anything wrong with that one. They're all the same. Yes. It's, it, Whether it's uh, it, a pro tank or um, an eye clear, it doesn't matter. That I object like hell to that initial taste. Yes. Well, that that's had the one that Keith's got in his hands now. It's had it's had three tanks. <clears throat> yeah. It. Or mine's just straight out of the package. Yeah, and the, I mean, the, the, I've got to be honest. The first one, uh, the first tank through it, I, I I had a couple of drags, and I thought, whoa, no, it, it was it was not dry but it was close to dry do you know what i mean that just that point i do i don't know what it is um that causes that taste but you do get it yeah and then it, it's burned off by mm -hmm. the time I'd, I'd had oh six seven drags that taste it's it, it had yeah. more or less disappeared it's been and, um a, a problem that I've noticed with these cigs right from day one. Yeah. You know, when we first had the 901, um, if you dripped on a brand new 901, people would say, oh, there's a coating on it that it, causes that. It's where we got the phrase breaking them in, didn't we? Yeah. You've got to break your atty in, sort of style. Um, and nothing's changed where that's concerned. It, it, well, it, it, it must be something to do with... Um, the makeup of the coil and the wick, or whatever mm -hmm. it is, because it, it's different with different devices, and it's it, it's even different with the same kind of setup, but made by different manufacturers, and even with different resistances in the same setup, it's different. Mm -hmm. I um, mean, I told you at the beginning of the week that I had an Ithaca clone here. Yes. And it came with two coils already in it. Mm-hmm. Right, so that's wick coils, and it took me four or five days to get rid of that taste. Yeah, and then after that, fine. But to begin with, and I thought, oh, well, I just changed the wick and make it coils, but I was too lazy to do so, so I vaped through it. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm just going well, to in in interrupt there for a second yes. because there's something just yeah, come up. <laughs> Follow up on cinnamon flavoured refill cinnamon fluids. They found cinnamon cinnamaldehyde and methoxycinnamaldehyde in there. In, in height, it's cinnamon. What the hell do you expect to find? Oh, I like cinnamon I'm sorry, but yeah, oh god, do you know? I mean, it's honestly, seriously. Tests like that and slides like that, it's equivalent to seeing <laughs> my granddad. I can't, I'm, Chris, if I get wrong for this, I don't care. My grandma used to quite often say to my granddad, What do you want in your sandwich, dad? And he quite often used to say, ah, Chip with sugar on. Yeah. And that that they've just come up with there is a bit like saying that you've taken one of my granddad's sandwiches and analysed it. <laughs> Found feces in it. I mean, honestly, it's cinnamon. These people are clutching at straws left, right. Yeah, but I mean, the whole thing is is trying to baffle people. Oh yes, uh, and uh, almost brainwash them with with complicated science, isn't it? You're too right. I mean, th th there is an old old saying that goes along the lines of bullshit baffles brains, and it's something I've used for years and years as a sound engineer. And, and what we used to do was label up a fader as DFA, which means does nothing. Aye. 
Yeah. Yeah. Does nothing. D. Aha. Uh -huh. Nothing. That's what FA stands for. Nothing. Mm -hmm. The DFA fader. And people would come up and say, uh, "Excuse me, is it not a bit loud?" So, Do you think so? Yeah. And you go to the DFA fader and you pull it back ten <laughs> notches, and then you turn them and say, "Is that all right now?" Oh, it's much better, much better. Or you'd get, there's not enough bass. <coughs> oh, do you think so? Yeah. So you got exactly the same DFA fader, different fella, of course, and you push it up a bit. He says, is that better? Yeah, oh, brilliant. Oh, I can feel it now. It's good. It's, it's thumping, man. It's thumping. It's bashing. Probably not... people who have no musical knowledge or, you know, can dissect a piece of music or a sound in any way. Well, it's the same with that, though. Well, you, you know, you've got all these sort of pictorial, molecular things coming on. Well, you know, it could just go over people's heads. Well, the, the, the difference is it doesn't go over mine, because that's what I studied when I was at university. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a, but, you a know, I'm, I'm marine biologist. I understand all this kind of crap. And what, what they're talking is a load of crap. If you've got cinnamon in a juice, you're going to get those cinnamaldehydes. That's what's there. They're not harmful. They are what makes cinnamon Cinnamon, <clears throat> for God's sake. Yes, but I'm putting that together with all of the other stuff that's being on. Yes. You know, looking at it in a sort of broader context. And I would just describe it as bullshit, because I'm well, not as like polite that. as you. <clears throat> so, yes, we'll, ig we'll ignore that yes, for the time. Yes, that, that tastes totally different <laughs> <laughs> on the on the eve of... Totally. It's, it's different voltages. Yes, and that, I'm much more comfortable with that than I was uh, before. What, with the uh, the VTR? Or with the... the oh, right, I see. Yes. With the, the... I've got you now. Yes. With the Aspire yes. on the Evod. And it, it, it's, it's built to match it, isn't it? I mean, it's, well, it it's, is. it's exactly right. It's, uh, it's as it should yeah. be. Yes. It's as it should yes. be. And I've, I've, I've been circumspect. Just so that I can, you know, prove, I'll, I'll unscrew it and let you have it back at, so the viewers can see that. It's not going in there, is it? Oh, uh, I've, <coughs> I've, 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 I don't know what you mean, Keith. You know, being a kleptomaniac, I'm or sure, seem I'm, to be a kleptomaniac. I'm, I'm sure our viewers do not think you're a kleptomaniac at all. Really? No. Closet thief, but not a closet <laughs> thief. <laughs> No, not in any way, shape, or form. Oh my God! Yeah, Complete right. blood cell count mark is not. I'm just not watching that anymore. It's ridiculous. Stanley Mechanic's going to be no better at all. Um, I need to. I need to try and dial somebody in. Because we're getting fairly close to time to go, aren't we, Chris? Good, that's fine. We are. We've um, got uh, six and a half minutes. Because when we finish this. Over on our Y4 radio, DJ Bobo is going to be spinning the Whales of Steel. So what I'm going to do is shut that thing up. I'll get rid of it. Badoink, it's gone. Bye-bye. And I'm going to start Skype. You'll hear all kinds of funny noises. And I'm going to see if I can get hold of DJ Bobo. Well, that'd be good. And we'll find out what he's up to tonight quite like that idea. Where are you, Daz? <coughs> Come here, Daz. Bobo. DJ Bobo. Where's he gone? This, this is very strange, something that uh, they found out in chat. Uh -huh. And I've just tried it and it's correct. What's that? Um, if you go to UK E6 store uh -huh. or try and go to his site, you divert it to Liberty Flights. Really? Isn't that interesting? Daz, are you there? He's there. Right. Um, now I've got to do something clever here. And I've got to put that to on. And go back there. And the, there might be some echo comes over now. Daz, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good, I'll just turn it down on our local playback. Um, what are you going to be doing tonight on our Y4 radio with DJ Bobo Goes Wild? <laughs> DJ Bobo goes well indeed. Well, tonight we have uh, some competitions running. Um, 
the vendors have all been extra, extra, extra lovely in there uh, when I went out cabin hand. So we've got some prizes to give away. We've also got some uh, cool tunes ranging from the 60s right up to date. And we've also got some content. In the content tonight, what I want to know about is quality of ASIC. So I'm looking particularly for anybody who's a newbie, who's just got uh, something like an ego with a CA4, and uh, the overall views on it because there's been a mix of opinions on quality. So I'm just looking for some general chit chat. So um, it'd be great to hear from some people and they'll find out more about how to contact me on the show. Excellent stuff. Um, can I put a request in? You can. Can I make a request please for some Akadaka, some ACDC, some heed banging <laughs> ACDC? I will do my very, very best. I might need to look uh, in the back offices, but I'll do my very, very best to try and get you some ACDC. That's a good lad. That's what I like to hear. Are you going to stick <laughs> with us for the time being, or are you uh, preparing your show? I'm preparing. I've got four minutes. Um, the first, when the stream starts, it'll probably be a couple of tracks, just while I get my checks in order. Um, so I'll be hitting the Go Not Live in about three minutes. Excellent stuff. So do you want to tell everybody how they can listen to you, Daz? Yeah, if you would like to listen to me, you can, uh, if you go to www.ry4radio.com, uh, it'll automatically take you to the page and it should automatically play. If it doesn't, at the left, uh, sorry, the right hand side, you'll notice the box with the little play icon. Just hit the icon and it'll start to play. So there you go. That was, that was DJ Bobo. <laughs> DJ Bobo on RY4 Radio, straight after <coughs> here's how it finishes. I've never I'm done sorry. a live handover before. Are you? Have you gone, Daz? No, no, I'm still here. Lovely jubbly. Are you going to I stick with us until you start, or, you, or do you need to disappear now? Uh, I'll be needing to disappear in about 30 seconds. Okie doke. Hey, good luck with it, because it's your first official show tonight, isn't it? It is the first official one tonight. I've got jingles and everything. I'm so proud. Well... So are we. Uh, wish you, I want to give you the, wish you the best of luck with it tonight, Daz. I hope it goes really well for you and I hope you get lots and lots of listeners and viewers. I'm sure they'd rather listen to you than watch Stanton Glance. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lovely. Thank you so much for joining us, Daz. Have a good one. Take care. No problem. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody. Cheers, Bobo. <laughs> there you go. That was, that was Daz. He's been and come and gone and went. It's all good. There, no. You, could you hear your Daz at all, Chris? She's gone again. She will. She'll, it'll boom in a minute. It'll, it'll come up in a minute. She'll see you've got 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, Can I speak nice and quiet? Oh, that's... <laughs> yes. Yes, I could hear him at the beginning and then he disappeared for me, I'm afraid. Yeah, I had to drop the volume down because it was train now standing at platform 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 to come in sideways. It's one of those <laughs> things. Right, um, OK. It's time to wind up, isn't it? Yes, well, another one minute and 20 seconds. One minute and... T well, that just gives me time to remind everybody to write to their MAP, email, tweet, to support Amendment Number 170, the one that's been put forward by the Aldi Group, uh, the ECR Group and EPP. All three are supporting it. I'm guardedly confident that we can win the day on this, but we still need people to make the push. That's the first thing. Second thing is to, again, wish... Daz, DJ Bobo, the best of luck with his RY4 tonight. The third thing is to say a great big thank you to Chris for coming along and helping the way she always does and for being daft enough to try something new on air like that when I hadn't warned her what I was going to do. I know I'm going to get my backside kicked tomorrow, but it was worth it. And thanks also to Keith for uh, doing what you always do on a Thursday and coming <laughs> and, and Pleasure. playing. Pleasure. Even, even with the, the theme music. Well, yes, I can. Uh, the rest's enjoyable. In, uh, indeed, it's only it a minute. It is. It's true. And the final big thank you, as ever, goes to every last one of you that's watching this, either live or on video on demand. Um, it thrills me every Thursday and every Wednesday when we're on to know that so many people watch and enjoy it. Um, it, 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 it. It tends to make my day. It tends to make my day, and I'm not over exaggerating there. So from uh, from us, well. Before we go, don't forget to tune in on Sunday because it's a team talk, isn't it, Chris? Um, I think it is. What, the next show going out on Sunday? Yeah. Yes, it is team talk. 
and no doubt Bobo will remind you, Daz will remind you that uh, tomorrow night's RY4 radio, Team Talk on Sunday, Tin Your Tip on Monday. I, I'm not sure whether we've got the big Yorkshireman back on Tuesday night for Vapacine. I think we might have. And then it's back to VT Talk and the Here's Hour next Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for tuning in as ever. It's been a pleasure to share the last hour with you uh, from all of us here to all of you out there. Vape on, vape hard, and nil carborundum illegitimite. Till next time. Good night. JD Bye. Good night. Bye. Where is it? There it is.